Hello guys, uh, TNA fan two three four five here with a low veil on a game uh, I got more recently about a week ago. Uh, I'm good. Well, the first part of this video is gonna be about this game, and the second part of the video is gonna be about another uh, very similar uh, beat 'em up style game. It's gonna be more of a review of that game. By the way. Lower Rings War of the North. Uh, like the game itself, it's fun. Like, I was having fun playing this game, you know, running around in this, uh, you know, you're like one step ahead of the Fellowship, uh, and doing stuff, uh, you work hand in hand with guys like Aragon, you get to meet up with Legolas Gimli, stuff like that, and it goes off on its own little tangent. That's all fine. The game, like, graphics, audio, it's all good. Uh, it sounds good. It looks pretty nice for a Lord of Rings game. The gameplay itself is pretty fun. If it wasn't for one game-killing bug for me, me that pretty much flipped me the bird and said, you are not finishing this game. Uh, basically what happens, uh, I believe it's after the mission where, uh, uh, you defeat this giant spider and you're supposed to save this wizard. Now, you fight the giant spider, you save the wizard, it sets off the cinemax, so, uh, let you know that, oh, there's this giant evil dragon that's going to be at, you're going to have to kill next. What happens after that is a bug in the game. Now, I, uh, I reset my game. I tried resetting my game. I tried, you know, just save it at that point. I'll restart it go through where I have to, you know, where. Every single time uh, you, did, you do it, the game won't let you let it go on to the next bit. It will loop, and I wish I could find my video camera's uh, uh, charger, because I would record it and show you the bug, no problem. Here's what happens. Like, you get the same and everything. The game will not let you talk to Bellaram. Like, I tried everything in single player. I tried, you know, taking every single uh, line of dialogue I could take. I ran around Bellaram, trying to to find, you know, the button, it's like, oh, press this to talk to better, um, not happen. So I went, okay, maybe this glitch won't happen a second time. And it had me do the quest again. And I thought, maybe there's something else I have to do. I scoured the game. I scoured the quest left line left, right, and center trying to figure out what the frig is the problem. And I couldn't f figure it out. The game locked itself at that point because of the bug. And it just pissed me off to no end that you know, it's like I went to my brother and was like, dude, let's get lower range war in the north. You know, it's got co-op, we could play it together, or I convinced them to get this game, and for the game to flip me off, tell me, you're not finishing this game, pisses me off to no end. Like, the game itself, fairly fun game, but what are you do, do not, like, I, I got my, I think... I got my brother to pay thirty nine ninety nine plus tax for this 
un and I dropped it hope maybe if I drop it will uh, fix the bug <laughs> probably won't well anyway uh, the game itself fairly fun game but do not buy the PlayStation 3 version you cannot finish it it will loop itself until you are blue in the face no joke it'll just loop itself well anyway uh, I'm gonna move on to another very similar game to this and I'll be back okay uh, now the other game in question is uh, the Cursed Crusade uh, the Cursed Crusade it, uh, is another game by Atlas it's a pre mindless kind of button masher RPG kind of thing it seems very inspired by stuff like Lord of Rings and the game has about 42 missions in the game and the, the plot behind it is that you play as depending on if you're playing co-op or not as Dens and uh, Esteban and I think uh, my video just got done saving or something because I was working on stuff like that. Anyway, you play as Dens and Esteban depending on whether you play co-op or not and uh, you've been uh, hit with this curse which pretty much says death is going to be after you for the rest of your life but you're going to have these powers to light stuff on fire to shoot fire at people to see spirits la di da di da get all these different kinds of powers now you go on this cru crusade uh, to find salvation redemption whatever and to get your kingdom back as dens. Now, the game itself uh, it plays okay. Like the controls are pretty iffy. Like it doesn't ever feel right. You got like to pick up a weapon. You have to stop what you're doing, hit the X button, pick it up. And weapons. I was playing this on night mode, which is the normal mode. Uh, the game is a uh, fairly challenging on that mode because of all these stupid reasons uh, enemies will stun you way too off then like I'm on chapter 2 I'm about 21 missions in because there's 42 missions in it, it like if you want to account go into uh, the the mission slot thing I think there's about 7 chapters and not very often will you get checked point some of these missions are really long and if you screw up you're dead and, well sometimes it'll just outright kill you it's like F you that's gonna come up to you stab you in the heart because your buddy wasn't fast enough to uh, resurrect you now there are ways to get around death uh, to buy your buddy Sometime, uh, you can shoot fire at him, which I don't know how that pushes death away, but he'll try to get you at a different angle or whatever. But, the problem is, is that the whole game is, is, uh, flat, almost lifeless, like, uh, the entire time I'm playing it, it's like, why do I care about these characters? What reason do I have to care about these characters like the graphics feel like it, the graphics are really repetitive it's the same old you know castle level after castle after level after castle level you get some scenery here and there and hell just looks like the same freaking level except that there's different uh, stairs you go up and so forth which at the end of the day you gotta be really hard pressed to finish it I got halfway through I played playing co-op with my brother which it some of the missions it's a lot easier 
playing co-op, other missions, the AI will be enough of a sh distraction so you can pull out your crossbow and shoot people. Now, one of the cooler things is that uh, weapons will break in the game, that there's a durability system, but the problem is your weapons will only last three or four fights before you have to go back and pick up another one. Not to mention there are uh, clipping issues everywhere. Uh, the voice acting's not in sync uh, a fair bit. Uh, the auto lock on the crossbow is just way too easy for you to just abuse. Like if you're aiming in the general area, like you'll shoot just one crossbow bolt. It's like dead, dead. Dead, 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 dead. But I think they try to balance it out by making the melee combat really just really tough for what it's supposed to be. There are lots of combos, but 90% of the time you'll be hammering that square button again and again and again, just going do 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 do. Hey, I do it. Oh, now I got block, block. Take a step back. Slash, slash, slash. Block stick. Or counter, take a step back, slash, slash, slash. Like it's the same fight again and again, again. But they try to introduce stupid gimmicks into the game to either make the game harder or to extend the life of the game. Where at the end of the day, you're not gonna feel compelled by the voice acting to for push forward in your quest. The storyline's like a, uh, really want to push it forward. The combat's not very good. And if it wasn't for the fact that I played this after getting fed up with Warren North, I would have been like, fuck this game. Game, I'm going to go play War in the North. Like, if one of the North didn't have that game-killing bug, I was like, fuck this, bin it, I'm done with it. And it just frustrates the heck out of me, because the concept of the plot is fairly cool. I can get into it, but the way it's written or the dialogue is delivered, I cannot put up with this game for any more than I'd say about half an hour to an hour before I go F this, I'm going to go play something else. So, overall, The Cursed Crusade is flat, dull, boring. It's playable, but it's not a lot of fun. There are There is some fun to be had, but you won't be really compelled to finish this game now, between two of them, uh, the two of them, I would probably say these are two of the worst, uh, PlayStation 3 games I've ever played. Like, War in the North, I would say, is a lot better if it wasn't for the fact that I couldn't finish it. Like, I would, like, if it wasn't for the fact that I couldn't finish this game, I would definitely recommend you go check it out. Warn the North, even if it's just borrowing off your buddy. Curse Crusade, I I really have a hard time just recommending it to anybody, except for fans of Atlas, which is a very limited market. But uh, overall, if Warn the North didn't have the bug, I would give it an 8. But... Uh, since the bug does exist and you cannot finish the game, I gotta drop it down to a 5. Curse Crusade, flat, dull. So I'm just gonna give it a. F uh. Just a 4. You know what? Let's not be so harsh about it because I do like the concept. I'm gonna give it a 4.5. Like. I don't know if. 
the 360 versions of these, or the PC version of War in the North is a better. But, uh, if you got a PlayStation 3, you have better options. You can go play God of War or the God of War collection. Well, uh, that's it. For me, uh, just wanted to post this, uh, long video <laughs> on two of the games that have been driving me just hairy crazy. Like, I want to really like both of these games. Uh, Curse Crusade, because it looked unique. It looked like one of those games that are going to be a sleeper hit. But Curse Crusade, I have no reason to believe that this game is going to be a hit. Whatsoever. Because of how dull it is. And you can pick it up for 20 bucks. So if you want to go pick up Curse Crusade, uh, be my guest. As for War in the North, I want to really like it, and I was liking it until the bug came in. Well, that's it for me. I will see you all later. Have a nice day.